Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. In this lecture, I will show you how to write a spreadsheet file in PHP. We're going to be using a library called PHP Spreadsheet that is written in pure PHP and providing us a set of classes that allow us to write from and to write to different spreadsheet file formats like Excel and LibreOffice Calc. Now, we need to install PHP Spreadsheet. So, let's go ahead and install PHP Spreadsheet using Composer. Let's go to our file system and navigate to where our localhost folder is located. Let's create a directory for our project. Let's name it as PHP Spreadsheet. Okay, and then open our directory. Now, we will install all the files necessary to generate or export spreadsheet in PHP. So, first is we need to open the command line in order to uh, install PHP spreadsheet. So, all we have to do is press the shift key in your keyboard and right click in this uh, blank area. Choose open command window here option. In order to install PHP spreadsheet, we need to require it via Composer. So type in Composer require PHP Office and then slash PHP spreadsheet and then press enter. Now let's wait for the files to be downloaded in our system. Now that the files has been downloaded, we are ready to go and we are going to create or index that page uh, that PHP file. So let's go ahead, create or index that PHP file. So right click on the blank area and then new text document and then name our file as index.php are you sure you want to change the extension of course yes because we're going to be uh, working on with uh, index.php then open our index.php file in order for us to edit it of course and then open up the php tag Then the first thing that we need is to require the auto load that PHP file in our file system in inside this vendor folder. Okay. So let's go back to our code. Require vendor slash auto load that PHP. Okay. Next we're going to specify which classes that we're going to use for exporting the spreadsheet file. Now, the keyword is use and then PHP office backslash PHP spreadsheet Backstash the spreadsheet file or class. And another one, use PHP office and then backslash again, PHP spreadsheet, backslash writer slash xlsx class 
So these are the two classes that we're going to use in order for us to write Excel file in our file system using PHP. So the next one is we're going to uh, define an object spreadsheet equals new spreadsheet. So this is based on this particular class above. Next, we're going to get the active sheet of this particular spreadsheet. So sheet equals spreadsheet and then dash in greater sign greater than sign and then get active sheet okay then semicolon at the end next the most exciting part is to set values to our cell so we're going to specify the sheet variable and then the method set cell value so this particular method takes in two parameters the first one is the name of the cell so, so for example we want to put values into cell a1 so we, we, we're going to spe specify a1 and then the second parameter is the actual value of the cell so, so for example hello world okay next we need to define a writer object based on this particular uh, class above that we have defined earlier writer equals new xls x and then we're gonna pass in the the spreadsheet variable and after that one we need to call the save method and this particular method takes in another parameter which is the file name so, so for example hello world dot x l s x so this is the file extension that we're going uh, we're going to uh, define in our file system so it doesn't matter if you have space or not in here so because this is a file name and then this is the extension so after that one that's going to let's save our index.php file save Okay, now after saving our file, let's navigate to our local host and test out our code if it's working or not. Okay, so open up your browser. Okay, and then type in localhost and then our directory that we have created earlier, which is the PHP spreadsheet. Okay. okay, I think that's it. Let's check if we have successfully created a, an Excel file. So as you can see, we have here the hello world and uh, if we try to open up this file, we can see the hello world value at cell A1. So that's all there is to it in creating a spreadsheet using PHP spreadsheet.